Good morning. I'm here today on the 12th day of Christmas videos, and I am number 12, obviously. Um, I hope you've enjoyed the series so far. Um, on Junkers Craft Co-op, we've had some great videos by some great ladies. Um, Cheryl and Tracy and Cheryl's. Um, we've hopefully inspired you to do some some simple uh, Christmas crafts. Um, and I'm here with the last one. And it's simple and cute and easy. This is a little cone. And I, it's just a little, you can either be an ornament or it could be a pocket on a page, but on a Christmas, um, in a Christmas journal, but, and, or you can put a, you can cut your cone a little bigger, maybe put a gift card in there, or you could put some candy canes in there and tie it onto a gift. Um, it's just cute and simple. I'm um, Cheryl's actually made a template and I will attach the template um, to in Junkers Craft Co-op um, for you. Um, so this is the template she made and um, you can use any paper you have. This is this one actually happens to be the graphics fairy paper. Um, in fact this is her actually Christmas cone. So if you belong to the Graphics Fairy, she does have a template too, and it actually has paper attached to it. Um, so I gotta give credit where credit to do. I did see this on Graphics Fairy, and I, and um, Ruby and Pearl XO actually did a video for the Graphics Fairy on these, and I just fell in love with them. Um, the only difference is I don't have any glitter to go on the edges like she did. I had this, I was going to use it, opened it, it is completely as hard as a rock. That is now in the trash. So, um, stickles would be really cute if you had stickles. Um, I really don't think it needs it really, but if you want that old German world look, then I would do some glass glitter or something um, down the sides. Look, at, you could even use my fingernail polish. <laughs> That's all coming off. But, um... So yeah, if you have a good thick, a good thick uh, fingernail polish like this one is actually, it's not like this. This one, I don't know if you can see that one's more translucent. This is just all thick. You could put a bead of, of um, fingernail polish on the side, especially if you're not going to be putting it in a journal or anything archival, um, if you're just doing more decorative. All right, so I am going to show you how we made this little cute thing. It's actually very simple, and we're going to do two. I'm going to do one in, in a Christmas snowflake paper, and then the other one I'm going to do out of this notepad, which I don't even know where I got it. Maybe it's it's Prima, so I maybe got it at Hobby Lobby. It's the only thing place I could think of where I would get Prima. So, um, not quite sure where I got it, but cut your cone out of your paper after you print it. The easiest thing to do would be to line it up in a corner. Yeah, it lined up there as much as possible. Turn this around so I can cut better. And I actually cut... A little bit more than the, than the actual template because I want to have enough space if there's there's white space or something that I need to cut off that I have some room to trim up um, so that basically is it's basically almost like a heart so now um, what I'm gonna do and I'm just going to kind of pre-ink it. And then I'll end up inking it again. Um, if you want to, you can't really see the inside too much. I did ink the inside of this one. 
you can, if you have a thin piece of pattern paper, you could attach it to the inside if you wanted to make it, to make it more like a little peak of something in there. I'm just going to use, of course, handy dandy ink here. And then I'm going to fold along the edges here. Like I said, you might have to trim up a little white, but that's okay. The nice thing about the cone is you're going to get a good creased edge. Now this is a this is a cardstock. This one is just regular paper. So be careful when you're creasing on regular paper that you don't do it so hard it rips. Um, this, in case you're wondering, paper came from here. Recollections paper pad. I believe I bought this last year or the year before. I haven't even looked at their papers this year. Um, because I don't need any. I have so much of it. I, I literally just opened it. I cut the tape off of it today um, to use it. Okay, I'm going to trim up where it needs because obviously we're not machines. We don't cut perfectly. So trim up that. And then I'm going to take my ink again and go around the edges where, where I want it more. And of course we didn't get this edge. So I'm going to get that edge more. And I want to make sure I get this edge really well, just in case there are any more white spots I missed. In fact, I think I'll just go on the inside too, just in case. Okay. Now the other thing you can do, you can leave it like this, or you can kind of rough it up some. Whoops. Um see if I can get it to rough up a little without ripping it like I just did a little on the edge just to kind of give it a little more of a it's been around a little while feel and this is what Ruby and Pearl does on a lot of her stuff she will to make it look older she will rough up those edges that's gonna get glued so it'll be okay she roughs up the edges of her paper just by pulling at them. Okay. I mean, if you want, you could even almost make a crease in there. And then after you make your creases, go back in with your ink so you can define some of those creases. See, now I have, I don't know if you can see really well, but there's a little bit of definition to those creases now that I've inked them. And what's nice about using this paper is kind of neutral, so it's easy to work with. But you don't have to use a neutral paper. I just chose this um, paper just to demonstrate with. Um, the next thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to take your glue. I'm using 3-in-1 glue just because I do want this to dry a little faster. Especially since we're on camera. This one I used uh, Elaine's Tacky Glue. Except for on the tinsel I used a heavier glue. So we're going to just do a small bead of glue. Right down the edge. And I'm not going all the way to the top yet. Um, because I am going to want to put... I only have a piece here. I'm going to want to put one of these at the top. Um, this is a tinsel trim that I got at, I believe, Joann's, um, a few years ago. Place and time, I believe, is Joann's. Yep, Joann's stores. 
So I'm not sure if they have this this year. It comes on a well like this. They usually do. Um, Hobby Lobby usually has it. Um, in the past, the dollar store has even had it. Um, but you don't have to use tinsel. You can use whatever you want. Oh, I've even found it at Walmart before. So you can use, of course, whatever you want. You can do a pipe cleaner. You can use ribbon, lace, whatever you want. So I have a piece already cut here. I had another piece too, but I guess I misplaced it. But I'm actually going to cut this because I want this one to be just a little bit longer. Okay. Alright. So now we're going to glue into the corners. And now I'm going to go ahead and close the rest of my cone up as well, putting glue on both sides to hold the tinsel. So we're going to put that on one side, and put that one on the other, and close it up. Get some of that tinsel out of the way. There we go. Close that up. <clears throat> Might take a second to dry. Hold on to that. Okay. So, there we go. While that one's drying, I'm going to go ahead and glue this one. This one is the one that I took out of the romance paper pad from Prima. I have not inked it yet. I did pre-cut it just so you didn't have to watch me cut two of these out. I'm sure we all can figure out how to cut. I'm going to put one on the inside there. Do, do. Around the edges there really well. Okay. All right. I have my edges just a little. Just a little on this one. Do, do, do. Okay. There we go. Again, I'm going to use 3 one glue just because it's faster to dry for demonstration purposes. You can use whatever glue you want to, of course, seal your paper. I would suggest, in fact, I'm going to try doing this while we're closing it up. I would suggest, of course, a heavier glue. A heavier glue for um for your tinsel though. Get that right where you want it. And we're gonna close that guy up. Since this one should be dry, I'm gonna steal this one. Put that on there for a second. Whoa. I want to make sure we get that in there. Go. We'll let that dry for a second. And then if you want like this one, I added a little star and some seam binding. Um, you could do the same with these. Um, I don't know if I have anything pulled out for, for this, but 
You could use, she's actually kind of cute. You could use a little something on there. Let's see what I have sitting here. Of course I have a purple seam binding. I have gold seam binding. That might be cute. Um, I cleaned my desk off right before we did this. Otherwise you would not be able to see my desk at all. Um, it's still kind of messy, but it's okay. We could do pearls. Um, I'm not quite sure how I'm going to decorate that one yet. Let's see. I do have some gold. Actually, gold might look kind of good. And I'm sure I have something small somewhere that I can use, um, like as a star or snowflake or something, I'm sure I have one somewhere, so, or we can just tie it on there and leave it kind of blank, so let's see, let's I'm gonna tie this on. I cannot do a bow, obviously, because, well, maybe I can. My fingers just don't work real well. Um, but I'm gonna try here. Oh, I think I'm gonna get it. Maybe. Come here. There we go. I've got a little tiny, believe it or not, bow in there. There we go. Kind of turn it around, see if we can't get it to look more like a bow. Well, believe it or not, it's a bow. It's a bad bow, but it's a bow. Maybe if I can get these to pull out some. There we go. Whoops. It's not great, but it is a bow. Believe it or not. So, so there's that one. We could add, like I said, we can add something to it. We can add maybe a pearl somewhere or even along here. It'd be cute to put put pearls. Sometimes you know you have these that are all lined up, not individual. Maybe put them on there. It'd be really cute. I don't happen to have any right here. But we'll leave that one to your imagination. Now this one. This one I have this cute little bow. That I was going to put on. So, we'll put our bow right on there. And I do have a cute little flat back pearl here that I was going to put right in the middle. And there you go. There you have it. Cute, easy. You could put something in there. You could use it as a pocket. And there you go. There, or you can even use it as a little ornament on your tree. So those are our those are our cones that we made. So fun and easy very easy I like easy I like when things come out and they're easy and cute um, and like I said you could do this for anything it doesn't have to be Christmas this one I could still use this for Christmas if I wanted it's but it's more of a little romantic romantic paper just like the paper pad called it a little typewriter and roses but how cute would that be 
on top of um, maybe some pink wrapping paper or even neutral color wrapping paper. Or if you took a glassine bag and of course it's too late for me. Sorry. Let me ink up the front real fast just so it isn't so white. Stand. Okay, don't stand. And then take what do I have sitting around here? Maybe take I don't know if this is going to work or not, but take something like this and kind of add it to the front of a bag and then stick a couple fun things sticking out of it. Um, you could even put a couple of paper dolls sticking out of it. You don't even have to glue them in. You can just have them sticking out of it. That way whoever gets it can use them. So you could even decorate something up with them after you use them. So I hope that helps. I hope that gives you some ideas. Um, and I hope to see you making them. Have a great day and we will talk later.